Hello, friend, and welcome back to the Watchman Channel. Thanks for joining me. This prophetic word excerpt comes from Lynn Packer, Christchurch, New Zealand. The name calling has to stop. I love God's commitment to wholeness, to growth, to freedom. He is not willing that we stay bound in any way. We can look at all that's happening within the church at this moment and think this is a time in disarray, with traditional beliefs and ideas being challenged, people going through times of deep questioning, and even dismissing much of what they previously believed. We can think it's the work of the devil. Yet Jesus himself often disrupted people's thinking in order to move them beyond the status quo. He did so to bring change, challenge religious mindsets, to release a move of God into the earth that carries on even today. In John chapters 3 and 4, we see a couple of examples of Jesus disrupting people's beliefs to bring truth, to bring change. First, he tells Nicodemus that he needs to go back and start over, to be born again, perhaps the most apt image for disruption ever. Then he speaks to the Samaritan woman at the well. He tells her that the location of worship doesn't matter at all. That was the equivalent of Jesus saying that temple practices of their day were not what worship was all about. Jesus was saying that what matters is the attitude, the spirit, the authenticity, the truth of the worshiper. Jesus was calling for a radical disruption in his religion, and a similar disruption and a migration are needed no less today in the religion that names itself after him. Reformation is not comfortable. It is not pretty. It can feel chaotic at times and extremely disconcerting as God challenges our thinking, as he realigns us with the truth about himself and the way his kingdom works. We only have to look back through time to see this. We are currently in a time of God-initiated reformation. During a reformation, ideas, traditional beliefs, mindsets, they're challenged, they shift. People feel out of place, like they no longer fit where they did or more. In times of reformation, new moves of God, these are times when people who are wedded in their heart to the old moves, they have become dogmatic in their beliefs and they'll tend to attack the new move. Because we don't understand what God is doing, we turn instead to categorizing or labeling people or ideas instead of taking the time to ask those people what led them to their conclusions. We distance ourselves from those brothers and sisters in the Lord. We dismiss them as being wrong. And we end up calling those people names like heretic, deconstructionalist, woke, demonized, even more. We shun them and sometimes gossip about them, taunting others with our misguided and often wrong opinions. These past few weeks, I felt the Lord saying very strongly, the name calling has to stop. We are called to see our brothers and sisters after the Spirit, not through our fleshly mindsets. We must love one another as Christ loved us. Within the church, there should be no looking down at people who have different perspectives from us. God is calling us to love our brothers and sisters, even if they may have some different conclusions than we have on certain subjects. He is calling us to see them as he does, to love them as he does, despite our differences. There should be no us versus them mindset. Friend, will you pray with me into this word? Heavenly Father, I pray that my friend and I, we would not be those that, that call names, that we wouldn't be those who cast the first stone. Yes, there are, there are truths and principles that we must stand up for. And Lord, we know we're not talking about those. But Father, I thank you. I thank you that the inward witness of the Holy Spirit keeps us on track, keeps us focused on the main thing. We don't want to get focused on the, the side things, friend, that we forget the main thing. Lord, I pray that my friend and I, through this, this new reformation that's happening in your church, Lord, I pray that we operate out of the, the best ability that we have to showcase Christ, to be ambassadors for Christ, and to glorify his name here on earth. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.